girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, it is time to go down this pop culture street. And let's talk about the Kardashians for a second because a new exclusive peek of a clip has been released about the next episode on People Magazine. And everyone is talking about this feud between Kourtney Kardashian and Kim Kardashian and how the hell this is going to get resolved, okay? So I'm gonna read you the news and then we're gonna discuss a little bit because girl, I have opinions. So anyways, uh, there was, like I told you, there is this exclusive clip, you know, and they finally sit down, Courtney and Kim, to talk about this huge feud. Courtney is so hurt that Kim decided to do the Dolce & Gabbana show and like she cannot believe that she dare to do that. I just, I can't. <laughs> but anyways, um, Kourtney and Kim Kardashian are finally sitting down to talk in an attempt to heal their relationship. In people's exclusive clip from this week episode of The Kardashian, the sisters came face to face to hash out their issues about Kim's Dolce & Gabbana partnership. Um, Kourtney, who is upset that Kim did a collection with the, fa the fashion house, that designed Courtney's wedding just six months after her big day. <laughs> just six months, I mean. She shouldn't have waited six years. Um, is ready to open up about her feelings surrounding the situation. And she says, because it was my wedding, it really wasn't business for me. It was such a special day, I feel like it takes away from the specialness. Girl, your special day is on that day, okay? After that day, it doesn't matter. It's like your birthday. You are the most special person on your birthday day. The day after, it's over, bitch, okay? <laughs> the posh creator tells the Kim's muggle that had it been any other collaboration, her usual personality will be to say, do it, take the money, and run. She goes on to explain that this is the one time where she cares about the deals Kim is making. It feels awful that my sister used my wedding as a business opportunity. She chose the money over me. That's why she never truly asked me. It's not that she forgot to ask me or thought that I wouldn't care. I think she wouldn't have known what to do if my answer was no. Season three of the hit Hulu show has documented the family divide from the beginning Courtney initially says she feels like Kim took the mood board we sent our family from Courtney and Travis Baker wedding and made it. Uh, the skin creator struggled to understand why her sister was upset in previous episodes saying it just kills my vibe and nothing that Courtney who is currently pregnant with her first child with Baker wore looks to the wedding festivities. Kim had already worn in the past. I have to talk to her and explain it to her. I just want her to be happy for me. It was too big of a moment for her to not be proud. Ugh, anyways. Um, um, okay, this little part, for example. Kim stood strong in her claim that she refused any designs that resemble Courtney's wedding looks. 
claiming she wanted to be respectful for Courtney's and this journey. The reality star even said that she has an email string begging them to push it a year, but the sisters never sat down to air it out until now. Okay, this is what I have to say, guys. This is so dumb, okay? I mean, I'm so sorry, but this is like first war rich multi-million dollar people problems okay because i don't understand no matter like you can you can try to put it on me on like any possible way i don't understand why kim kardashian doing a show with doshi and gabbana you know about with a 90s team is such a problem for corny just because six months ago she had a wedding with Dolce and, uh, and Gabbana also using 90s team. But they're using different like clothes and everything. It, it just like, I don't get it, you know? I mean, first of all, if you're gonna blame anyone, blame Dolce and Gabbana, they're clearly doing like, oh, we already took advantage of, of Corny doing 90s shit. Now let's take advantage of Kim and now we can become like a brand and bring the 90s back. That's exactly what they were doing. So if you wanna blame anyone, blame uh, Dolce and Gabbana. But also like, I'm thinking this is a huge deal because Kim did a full on collaboration with a huge brand right that had nothing to do with Courtney's wedding it was not called Courtney's wedding edition by Kim Kardashian slash Dolce and Gabbana no it was like something completely different so I really really don't get it I don't get the hurt I don't get the the problem I don't understand I mean the whole thing is just dumb it's just dumb. And I think Corny is taking it to just another level. I think Corny is annoyed with the show, annoyed with everything and everyone. And she's trying to like find these little problems anywhere, maybe to get out of the show. We all know that Corny wants to leave the show to like, like uh, create her own show. We just did a video about that yesterday. But like, you know, I think it's just too dumb. And she's, she's pregnant now. She's gonna have a baby. Like, Keep going on your journey, you know, who were, like, do you even understand how many, like, like, regular uh, brides have to use the same dress around the world? Do you think that people really care? It is so stupid. Dumb, 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 okay? On this one, I have to say I am on Kim Kardashian's side because it doesn't make any sense to me. You know, it, it, uh, no, I'm sorry, I just, I can't. So anyways, that's what is going on. You know, they're going to be sitting down. She's going to be putting all of her heart. I mean, if she doesn't get it, she's not going to get it. What What does she want? Kim already did the collaboration. And I think it was such a special moment. Like the, the whole, uh, the whole um, show, the runway and everything, it was so cool. It was so well done. Kim put so much effort on it. Everyone's so proud of her. You know, I think that Corny might be a little bit jealous is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Corny was expecting like, oh, it was my wedding. Everyone is to talking about this for the next five years. So no, please no one have any other projects, you know? And then Kim's like, girl, girl, who put the Kardashians on the map? Okay, like Kim, Corny, you know what I mean? So girl. So anyways, um, that's what is going on. Let me know what you guys think on the, the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Kardashians or any of the other uh, pop culture news, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Remember, I have a new podcast called Let's Talk About This Mess with The Real Andy of Barry Hills, dropping episodes every Monday with special guests and exclusive tea. So make sure to check it out on Patreon. And if you want to get a personalized message from me, now you can get through cameo the links to everything are on the description below and i'll see you around see ya bye